What up, it's Cam, and welcome to a game called The Outer Worlds. Now, I know this game's been out, I think, a month. Yeah, around about a month, so I am a little bit late to this game. But, I'm still excited to play it, and I hope you guys enjoy me playing it as well, because I've actually been waiting for this game for a long time, and I didn't even know that it came out like a month ago. So, I was quite disappointed when I couldn't play it straight away. But, you know, that's fine. That is fine. That's fine by me. Now, I don't know if there's tutorials involved, but if there is, we're just going to skip it. I'm not going to make you watch the tutorial, so you are okay there. Um, wait, what's story? What's that difficulty? Use this mode if you enjoy story. Story more than combat. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I, got, I, I, I don't enjoy story mode more than combat, combat, combat is my best, my best thing about a game, combat is just, oh, it's amazing, I love combat so much, now, I don't know what, I know this game is we explore worlds. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. Prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Top secret. Oh wow. We're pretty far into the future then. Hello. Breach of hope secure. Uh oh. Is that me? <laughs> I think that's me. I don't know. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Well, it's like, um, it reminds me of Fallout. If I've seen that game. Let's just I, hope you're oh. handy with a gun. Um, below average. Let's go for... Let's go, this let's go for high. Yeah, body off. strength. Mmm. Very good. Uh, mind, intelligence. My intelligence is quite shit. Oh dear, you spelled your name with a five. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking stupid. So <laughs> we're just gonna go. Um, You've got a once in a generation mind. But, but if I had your brains thirty years ago, we, we might are in a game. So I'm gonna make it good. Um, we're gonna just gonna leave that. Yeah. Actually, no, let's see that average and let's make this one good because it gives you a 10% to extra head. No, let's just do that one. No, let's go for intelligence as well. Yeah, I know that's bullshit, but who cares? Okay? Don't judge. Melee. Ooh. What's my melee? Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. Oh, skills. Defense, range. Um. Oh, stealth, leadership. Um, tech. Let's go for tech. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. Actually, I see. I don't know. May. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go for. Melee. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go for melee. Um, oh, what do I, don't we have mechanicals to do this? Wait, 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 what am I doing? Select the career, oh, career, um, G, 
janitor. I'm about no. To save you from a lifetime of cleaning God, all no. the dreams. Beverage, no. Cashier, construction, elevator, factory worker. Um. Um. Let's just go for fuck. No, construction. Construction, eh? There go. How riveting. Gender. Male. Female? Male. Face. Um. Oh, wow. Which one looks more like moi? Let's go for a handsome devil. Um, skin tone. Ooh, no. That's probably my skin tone. Eye color. My eye color is green. There we go. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't really care what my guy looks like, i got to be honest with you. Okay, we're done. Um, scar. Oh, yeah, let's have a scar, let's have a scar, let's have a scar. Make our guy look, you know, in you know, intimidating, you know? What's your name? I should name him by my name. No, I don't know. Um, I fucking hate naming people! It's my fucking weakness right now. Um, shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ask it up. Can we please? Can, can, can we do that? I don't know if it'll let us though. Ass kicker. Oh my god, we can. Oh my god, we can. Oh, I love this game. Yep, ass kicker. And accept. Woohoo! My name is Ass Kicker, boy. Oh. What have you done now? Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. <laughs> Where is this is track. Not likely, bootlickers. Oh fuck. Initiate skip jump. Fair enough. And we're gone. Whoa. What the hell is that? Oh, we took some damage. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> it drives Shit. Now we're stuck in space. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship oh. was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Oh, fuck. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Yeah, I don't oh, want to spoil uh, from the inside. Yet. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Oh. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can I leave? <laughs> Everything breaks with him. It's funny. Hear me. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Oh, in space. Now, you shot worry. me into space. Oh, yes. A smuggler. Oh. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. 
You like it? see a planet. Sure. We're going to a planet. I've also Ooh. outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Okay, bye. Oh god. Am I okay? Or am I dead? I'll do both. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. Oh, did I land on him? Oh, well, no sense in letting his God. Ship go waste. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not Whoa. sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about oh. the whole squashing thing. God, it's squashing pretty good. Low gravity, I like it. I slide? No. Whee! So where is everyone? Is there like a town nearby? Ooh. Oh god. Ooh. What the fuck? What the fuck happened to him? His legs off. Or, or maybe something cut his legs off. Oh god. Hey, you. Oh. Come here. Oh, hi. <coughs> You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Oh. Um. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Right. Oh, I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you, you one. You're welcome. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm off. I got a gun. So, do I shoot it? I... Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? And what in the hell? Not really, I can't hear shit what you're saying. Um, tactical time... Uh, doing something. No, I can't hear a word you Oh god, hi! Uh oh. Ooh, melee. Yeah boy! Can I have that um Can I have that uh that melee that you, that you were just using? Wait, where did the seven do go to? Ooh, bananas. <gasps> bananas. Yeah, what where the hell did this other dude go to? Oh, I, I can't pick up. He was He was just here, isn't he? Oh, I guess he got blown away. Or probably disintegrated. Oh god, I'm bad with the gun. Go away. Go away. No one likes you. What do you have on you, good sir? Do you have nothing on you? Okay. Nothing on you, then. Oh, you good sir. Ow! Oh, melee. Oh, God. I'm not How do I, uh... I... Which, wait, what's... Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Wait, did I take full damage from that? What? Hi! Can I 
Can I speak? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <laughs> out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh-huh. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this yeah, situation... God's never back down. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Got people help me now. Woo! Die, you fuck. Can I throw a grenade? Is there any grenades in this world? I want, I want a better gun, please. Whoa! Oh! 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 God! What the fuck did she do to you? It's a torso! Ew! Oh, God! Oh! Yeah! Yuck! Where did that other body go to? It is. This body is good. This game is gruesome. It's fuck. And I like it. <gasps> Gotta open the door, right? Eh? Open. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable. Yeah, okay. We'll do that in a minute. So, ship control. Unauthorized access of space. Help. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Oh God. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Oh, shit. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to... Um... You are still here. My deception protocols no. have failed. I have been programmed to express... Disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Pretty sure he's dead. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Um, unless if I landed on him. Oops. Shit. He met my escape pod all right. <laughs> <laughs> Head first. <laughs> Let's go for that one. I understand. Oh, fuck. I will require some time to process this information. I like that. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders <laughs> exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If oh, I accept God. your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced... So how am I to get this in the air if I needed him? The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Oh, great. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, 
and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Ooh. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Unreliable. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Yeah, I'll try not to be squished by a pod. That's coming from the air. Right, okay. Right, I've got to go to... What? Got to go somewhere? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's choice ah. to have to find. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Fuck. Um... We've got it wrong. I made Starship Safety Inspector. It's like. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, could've killed, over past could've the killed cemetery. Them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. Goodbye. Good day, uh, man and woman. Right, oh, I'm going to the town. <gasps> town, 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 town leader. Oh, it's so far away. Wait, do I have a gun? Like, can I, how do I um, access my inventory? Oh no, this is my skills. Oh! Uh. Um, how do I access my inventory? Oh, is that an enemy? That is an enemy. Oh shit, it's a whole bunch of them. Oh god. Yeah! Get done, son! He had nothing on him. Where's your one? Fuck did the other one go? Here he is. Oh hi, resident. Well, I got a feeling. That, well, I got a feeling this town is probably overtaken by these weird look. Well, weird, by these weird people that I don't think I know what their name is. Whoa, whoa. that's a biggie. Well, there's a town. Pretty cool town, you know. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? I came from your ass. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I'm just passing through. Oh no. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Okay. Never got your name. I'm Ass Kicker. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Oh, well, I wish you, you said don't want my name. Of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um... Do you offer me a job? 
Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our gravesites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Okay. Okay. See you later. Goodbye. Edgewater. Right, okay. So I need to go up into the tower. Ooh. It's a cool little town. So... Okay, I need to go this way. Oh, can I go, like, into the building? I can. Is he someone's home? Probably. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. He's obviously mental. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna you know, do what I came doing here, so... Shoot up the entire time. Probably could. Aha! The elevator. They even have elevator music out in space. What do you know? You learn something new every day. The grease monkey Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Hi. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Oh. Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh honorable apparel of a loyal worker? No, I'm going to that. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. Ah. Uh. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. How? There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Okay, thank you. Wait. Wait, mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Great. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Uh, yeah, sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. You're welcome. Well, let's go, new partner. Let's -a go. So, how's life? 
seem to go. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Got a sec? Mm-hmm. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Right, I got that's what my oh, okay, I gotta anyway. see in someone else now as well. So I got two locations to go to. Um, let's go to the close. No, okay, that's leave. Now let's go and talk to um, I mean Bobby over here. Ooh, just like a oh. I've always felt weird in here. It's too Kai. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Nothing curious about Just it. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Um. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so great oh, as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Hmm. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Okay. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Ah, oh, shit. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Ooh. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue want, cover with the name paid. M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Well, okay. We've got a lot of objectives to do. Sheesh! Rug it. Let's go and do Reed's thing. Oh, wow, this town's completely abandoned. Holy shit. What happened here? Oh, I can see why. Got taken over by these people. Got more close to it. Boom! Oh shit, I did not do shit. I did not do anything! I think she's enjoying this a bit too much. 
I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you fuck. You fuck what? Yeah. I'm a new gun. I hate using a pistol. How do I switch gun? How do I, um... Oh, inventory. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Do I have, like, a, an, like a new... I've only just got pistols. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Ow. Really? You wanna go with that? Didn't have one somewhere? No? Oh, so it'd be it. I want a better gun, man. Fuck a shooting. Ooh, cut his arm. Fuck. Level three. Ooh. I need ammo. Where's um? That dead body go to. Fuck. Get out of man. I can't find the ammo too. Where does bodies go to? There they are. Oh good, okay, right, okay, find the ammo. Ooh, what the fuck are these? Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Actually, I need to be here. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Um... Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. That's fine. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay. Much obliged. You're welcome. Right. He's in there. Perfect. Hello. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. What? Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. Wow. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Um... Read Thomas. 
Hobson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Ah, uh, devoting power. Everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Oh, don't make me. Your camp has a power regulator. Yeah. Canneries got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the canneries' guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'll consider it. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm. I trust you will Yeah, let's, uh, let's go against the town. They, they don't... Because a lot of people are against them. There's got to be a reason why. Okay. Let's go to the next punk, which is all the way down there. Oh shit, that is fucking far. Can I cut through here? No. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, assault rifle. Yes. Oh, I already had one. I didn't know. Oh, I'm happy now. Right, how do we get down... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Follow the road, don't know. Wait, I'm going to sort out my inventory real quick. Okay. That's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Whoa! Landmines. Perfect. Okay. Gotta be careful. Fuck. I was nowhere near that landmine and it still went off. No! Fuck is that? No! Animals are weird. I guess this is the lab. Oh, there's an enemy lurking by. Fuck, that takes a lot of bullets. Jeez. Fuck me. 
Ah. Okay. Got it. Fuck, he took a lot of bullets. I always wanted to poke around in here. Oh, there's more. Great. Shit. Shit. Okay, that's dead. You got him. Fuck. Oh, God, man. Ah, it's two. I need to heal. There we go. Oh, my God. Whew. Fuck. He's a tough bastard. Run of ammo though, so this is not good. Okay, here we go. Whew. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Right, do you know what? I think we are going to continue this in the other episode. Yeah, so we're going to end it here. So, oh wow, I've been recorded for over an hour. Holy shit. Wait, I got a yawn. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, um, we'll pick this off in the next episode. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed me playing Outer Worlds. This game is class. It is beast. Yeah, I know I'm a month late, but still. Still, you know, it's worth recording because this game is just fun and I love space. So, um, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we'll probably upload the next episode probably tomorrow or the day after. Star Wars, uh, we're gonna finish that as well. So, without further ado, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!